hello there my friends welcome to the channel and thank you for watching the transfer window is finally here and i made already so many videos about links and giving you my opinion thinking always outside the box and in this video we're gonna discuss about ashraf hakimi to chelsea football club and three things that could go wrong in this deal not to happen if that makes sense because you know what we always get carried away every time we are linked with a good player we just jump on social media on youtube watch some clips make our mind and then start speculation we don't really think clearly when we are linked with somebody because it's trending that's what people are talking about so we are so emotional okay reactionary we want to see the player coming to our club and we don't even think about what's going to happen to the group of players that we already have in the team and all that so let me give you three reasons why i think this or this deal could collapse the last minute number one real madrid got the first refusal offer yeah when they sold hakimi to inter they put um, a refusal clause on the deal inter paid 40 million but real madrid could decide his next destination let's say real madrid with the new manager carlo ancelotti decide to go for hakimi he's going to go to real madrid instead of other teams and a couple of weeks ago he said he sent a message clearly saying that hey i'm here you got the first refusal if you want me i will always be there so kind of hey look at me i'm here and we all know that real madrid team are getting older everybody is getting older and hakimi could be the missing piece in that real team people are going to tell me oh they don't have money blah 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 anyways they have so many players that they could sell to generate the money for hakimi so that is the first reason why i think this deal could collapse the last minute the second reason that I think this deal could collapse the last minute is the PSG. PSG are pushing very hard. They actually offered, you know, uh, 53 million and then Chelsea Football Club matched the price. The problem is PSG got more money than Chelsea Football Club. The salary they can offer to Hakimi could be more significant than what chelsea are going to offer remember a few days ago vilnadum he wanted to go to barcelona psg came along and then offered double the salary of what he was going to get at uh, barcelona money talks uh, Vil uh vilnadum ended up by going to psg you know what i'm trying to say so if psg decide to get him they will pay all kind of money and they will get him in front of chelsea football club and keep in mind hakimi can speak french keep that in mind number three the power of friendship hakim ziyech if we can keep hakim ziyech in the team Hakim Ziyech could be the agent. Hakim Ziyech can help Chelsea Football Club get Hakimi. Don't underestimate the power of friendship. We saw what happened between agent Rudiger, Kai Havert, and Timo Werner. Yes, I know that Frank Lampard and Peter Cech did everything they could, but don't ever underestimate the power of friendship. If your friend gives you a call and say hey buddy join me here we have a very good project and you know I, I would like to play with you again trust me your decision could be influenced by your friend hakimi 
and Hakim Ziyech are very good friends. They are from the same country. They are all the time in the national team. So if Hakim Ziyech said, buddy, you can join me at Chelsea Football Club. It's a good team and we're going to dominate Europe one more time. Hakimi is going to listen to his friends. The problem is, it looks like we are going to get rid of for Hakim Ziyech. Well, I don't know. Those are just speculations. I hope not. But if we can ensure Hakim Ziyech that you're going to have playing time next season, he's going to help us get Hakimi at Chelsea Football Club. Let me know what you think about this deal. Do you see the deal happening? Do you think that Hakim Ziyech is going to leave Chelsea Football Club? Do you think Ashraf Hakimi is going to choose Chelsea Football Club instead of PSG or Real Madrid? Let's start a conversation here. And don't get my word twisted. Don't get me wrong. I made so many videos already praising Hakimi and saying, how much i would like to see him at chelsea football club but this video is about making people think outside the box see things from a different perspective what could what would you know what i mean so if you know you don't know what could and would mean maybe maybe not please check your dictionary before jumping and talking nonsense about how you hit yeah, 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 yeah why you hate why you hate why you hate because in the chelsea community people don't want to hear what they don't want to hear if that makes sense they're gonna call you oh you've been negative it's not being negative it's being realistic it's uh, thinking outside the box so you don't get surprised if something happened are we clear here many frustrated people in the chelsea community are just looking for a fight they're gonna pick up one word and make it huge twist it turn it and make it sounds like oh you did this you did that so they can find a way to get on you so i'm not saying that hakimi is not good for chelsea football club he's a perfect player for chelsea football club by the way he got the end product uh, he got some defensive issues but he can improve only 22 years old he can improve he got the end product and with hakimi we're gonna be better team than without him so leave your comment let me know what you think about this deal do you think that real madrid are going to get one over us by resigning hakimi do you think PSG and Qatar are going to sign Hakimi and offer him a contract that he can't refuse? Let's have a conversation. Keep an open mind. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give the video a like. God bless.